Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Matthew Mozafari. This is my first video that I've been able to successfully create and I'm going to be showing all of you how to actually create an onboarding screen without using the traditional styles with cells because that creates uh, limitations in your development but with this you can actually create whatever you want on each individual onboarding screen. So this is what it would look like. It would have the scroll transition effect with the restrictions as you can tell and you can add whatever you like. So let's begin. Hey how's it going everyone? I'm Matthew and this is like my first video. Um, I recorded this video multiple times and that's because I, I ended up making a bunch of dumb mistakes and I'm going to be going through it to help you guys. <laughs> so what I'm going to be building today is actually a um, a UI page control and it basically manages multiple view controllers and this is very helpful when you're building onboarding screens because I know typical onboarding screens have text an image and uh, the little page control icon at the bottom and you can just create arrays and fill them up and if you want to customize each view controller that makes it kind of tedious so what I'm going to be showing you guys is how to be able to build general code which allows you to customize view controllers completely differently and it's very convenient so uh, let's begin I got this uh, page control practice there's nothing in here yet um, I'm gonna add everything now so first let's mess with the actual storyboards so um, we're gonna add a few view controllers um, let's add three of these And we'll just change the colors. Let's make this orange or yellow or whatever that is. And let's go red. And now also we need to name these. So screen one, screen two, and screen screen three. The next thing we need to do is create a page view controller and we will make this the initial view controller and we'll also link this to page control view controller and we don't have this class yet but we're gonna make it now so just go to file new uh, file, Cocoa Touch class, UI page view controller. Name this page control view controller. And we'll just create it. Now, we can just remove all this, let's remove this. And the first thing we'll do is add the delegate and the data source. Then we will. Mm, you can ignore the errors there. Um, so the first error I actually made was, I ended up creating a view controller. I didn't end up uh, making the page view controller, and that created errors for a lot of the code. And I had no idea why until I paused the recording went through it for like 30 minutes and then realized so yeah just keep that in mind um, so let's go if let first view controller equal ordered view controller controllers dot first um, then set view controllers so like this actually appears only if you import it as a UI page view controller and that never did appear. First view controller direction would be forward, animated would be true, this would be nil. Um, and now let's also create this important lazy var uh, ordered view controllers, UI view controller.
Is this right? Yeah. So this is basically the array containing all of your view controllers. So we can do screen two and screen three. Let's put that there. And there you go. Um, you've got this. And what this does, it basically calls each storyboard. And you can add, add as many as you'd like. And yeah. So let's make sure there's nothing wrong here because I'm getting an error. Um, I think we should be good. Maybe we'll get rid of that. Hopefully that does. No, it doesn't. Well, okay, we'll, we'll see. We'll figure it out. So um, the next part would be to add a function call, configure page control. We'll be writing that function very, very soon. Um, yeah. So first function would be fun page view controller. And this would be previous view controller. So let's find that. I'm always having problems with this. I think it should be this. Previous view controller. Perfect. So the let page content view content view controller equal page view controller controller dot View controllers add an optional here self dot page index of page content view controller next function would be func configure page control this is the function we're going to be building out which provides customizability for the page control so oh shit uh, zero y ui screen dot main dot Bounds dot max y minus fifty height is equal to fifty. So next part page control dot number of pages is equal to ordered view controllers dot count um, page control dot current page would be equal to zero uh, page control dot tint color dot black Current page in indicator tint color. So it's so inconvenient when the actual functions don't pop up. <laughs> I don't know why nothing's popping up right now. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm getting nothing. Page indicator tint color is equal to, let's make that white. Uh, and then just add it to your sub view. Add sub view page control. All right, so let's let's actually build this and see if this is uh, okay. <laughs> wow. Hmm. So what could be wrong here? 
Okay, I see, I see. So I didn't even declare it. So that's probably why. So up here, let's call this, and these should be good. Hopefully, yeah, okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see if it pops up. Now. There we go. There we go. So current, there we go. All right. So yeah, declare your variables. <laughs> Don't forget that. I'm running into a ton of errors. Wow. Yeah, welcome to my channel, guys. <laughs> it's okay. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. And hey, you guys are going to learn with me. So that's cool. So new VC, view controller. Wow. Okay. String outputs a UI view controller. Um, return UI storyboard name main bundle nil dot instantiate view controller with identifier view controller. Um, func oh, page view controller, and there are two functions we're going to need a before and an after. So I think this is the before, perfect. And let's get the after. So this one, uh, hopefully, it's this and after. There we go, perfect. Um, Let's see. So let's just get some space here. So guard let view controller index. So this actually, what these do is actually control the page control. So the little dot that shifts, this controls it. So I'll be, I'll be writing out the logic here and just take a couple minutes, try and understand it. It's very straightforward. And you guys should easily understand what happens on the back end for this. So um, view controller index is equal to ordered view controllers dot index of um, index of view controller else return now. let previous index equal to view controller index minus one guard previous index is equal to or greater than zero else return no guard ordered view controllers dot count if <laughs> uh, if that's equal if that's greater than previous index then we would just return no okay this is not it's not helping okay return ordered view controllers previous index and there we go I Think we're done this one so for the after function so the one right below it we're just going to copy and paste all of this with a few small changes so we're going to change this to next index plus one um, we're also going to be making this previous index guard ordered view controllers dot count is greater than next index else return no then guard ordered view controllers dot count if that's greater than next index uh, uh, return no and then let's just add in next index to this so this is our completed code. Take some time, pause the video maybe, 
break down this logic. It's it's fairly straightforward. If you guys don't understand, leave a comment. I'll explain it. I might just put it in the description or something like that. In the future, I definitely do want to go through more errors. Um, and I'm always going to be responding to you guys. So leave some comments if you need clarity. So I'm going to run this. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully this works. Um, and if you remember, we already linked it to this. So that it should run. It should run. So let's see. So let's run this, see if this works. There we go. So as you can tell, it works great. It goes back and forth, and this would be a great onboarding screen. Just add a button here, tap it, it should take you somewhere else, and you can add whatever you'd like here. So like adding a slider here, then you can change it to labels here add buttons here, it, it creates very dynamic flexibility with your onward screens. Um, the one thing we'd wanna change actually is this little page curl here, this one, this right here. We wanna get rid of this. So what we're going to do is go to this and change transition style to scroll. And when we run this, you should see it'll appear as a very traditional onboarding screen where they're all flat and there are no little curls or animations. So if you can see, we have this and you get that. It's restricted and it looks great. Anyways, guys, um, thanks so much for watching. <laughs> this was the first tutorial that I successfully created. It actually ran and worked this time. I'm going to be releasing a lot more, so stay tuned. Peace.